is good everybody my paper moon fam it's your boy paper sin aka the hokage of that village hidden in that loud you feel me and i'm here to bring you some more wake and baked news because i'm awake i'm baked and i'm here to bring you some news so today today before i actually get to the article I, we, I, gotta, I gotta make an announcement, you know what I'm saying? Today we're going over something that's, you know, can be tied to weeb culture. You know what I'm saying? Like weeb, W-E-E-B, in case you don't know, weeb is usually known as people who are very into anime, at least here in the West. It's people who are, you know, really into anime. And I believe in Japan, it's people who are like into anything, who basically have just a just a uh, something that really drives them, and they really strive for that thing, and they and they do hobbies according to according to that thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's somebody who's like that, at least in Japan. But here, and I'm and you know the West in America, you know what I'm saying? Weebs, we're known for our anime. You know, you know what I'm saying our our anime niche. You know what I'm saying? What we're talking about today is slightly slightly you know what i'm saying it can be attached to anime because the cinematics are very anime-esque and i promise you if they decide to make an anime out of this series everybody would watch it you know what i'm saying like it would, it would be that good you know what i'm saying everybody even non-weebs would watch it it would be that good i mean in fact they have made an anime movie out of this genre out of this series and guess what everybody watched it if you haven't guessed by now then let me go ahead and tell you the uh what we're talking about today is the, the game the mmorpg the lovely 16 series running thus far 16 different series y'all y'all serious Y'all trying to go as long as One Piece. I see you. Okay. But what we, the game we are look, going over right now is... You got it, right? You got it? You, before I even said it, you said it? Did I just mess you up? Because you were trying to time it with me? You're trying to time the same shit that I was going to say at the same time? No, 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 bro. All right. The game we're going over today is Final Fantasy. Yeah, now I see you saying it with me. I got you. Final Fantasy 14. You're going to say 16, huh? You're going to say 16. No, I got you. You're going to say 16. But we're going over Final Fantasy 14. Because the title of what of the article that we're going... Did I spoil it in the in the in in my own title? I got to make sure I don't actually spoil it in my title. Okay. Yep. The article that we're going over is... It's titled... One Final Fantasy 14 player spent 14... Oh, no, <laughs> 450 hours and five thousand dollars immortalizing their MMO character within a life-size bronze statue. Yes, this character right here that you see on screen, this is not. Hold on, let me zoom in for a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little more for you. You know what I'm saying? Just a little tad bit more yeah yeah right here that's the statue this is the statue this is the person who made it that's a life-size figure of this person's in-game statue it's like the dragon dragon can i played final fantasy 14 you know what i'm saying i might be uh, like you know two three three chapters behind but you know i i play it kick.com slash paper sin just let me know if you want to see me play um but yeah, you this my my G, my homie, my my dude here that randomly looks almost a lot like someone I just met on you know kick.com <clears throat> slash peeperson who who is one of my new friends that I stream with. He looks like him. He's not I'm he's not him, I promise you that. You know, my homie's got uh black hair. This guy's got, you know, blonde hair. But uh, he made a life-size bronze statue of 
his in-game character. Not a waifu from the game, like an NPC waifu, you know what I'm saying? Not that. No, a bronze statue of his in-game character. Their MMO character. I had to read that twice because it passed me up for the first time. Their immortalizing their MMO character. Their MMO. Not a waifu, but their MMO character who is don't don't laugh. I know you've been laughing, but this character is their personal. Like may or may not be their personal waifu. You feel me? Like they made this character based off their taste, their likes, what they like. You know what I'm saying? That's the character you're going to be playing all game. So you might as well make something that you like. And they made their ideal waifu. I like to think that. So I respect it. You know what I'm saying? I respect it. Let me go ahead and, you know, back out a little bit. And for those of you who don't know, unfortunately don't know what Final Fantasy 14 is, the MMO Final Fantasy, Fantasy we're going to go ahead and watch the newest trailer, the trailer to their newest chapter that came out three months ago, at least three months ago. It's called The Dark so we're gonna watch that that trailer and then we're gonna check out the article. All right, let's go Link to the trailer and, and the article will both be in the description below So be sure to check them out for yourselves if you need to I am not On the uh, Headset that I thought the the audio that I thought I was my bad one second. I hope everything else came through correctly But let's try again All right, we good, we good. Ready? We good. Bit you. I would bid you join me. There you go. Fight with me mm. for the salvation of all our souls. Okay. I haven't seen this myself, to be honest, I promise. Now feast. That too. Feast upon this dragon and its ardent longing for home with Oh, it. shit. And Walker. Yeah, yeah, I was almost there. I was like two chapters away from that. They claim to be soldiers of a kingdom called Baron, and were traveling the realm in search of a means to end the Contra Memoria. Mm. Everything seems to be proceeding apace. I dare say you would have been fine without me. Oh, you know. Containment seal. Then thou wouldst make use of. So this is the promised land, the land of boundless ether. Are we? Are we sure this is the Dark Throne trailer? Does it? Is that in? Commence your invocations. Is that in Walker at first? I'm a little worried. It's time to open our gate. You can tell I haven't seen the Endwalker the, the uh, trailer. Sorry, not sorry. This is the moon of the 13th. I've been waiting for this. Maybe you should come join me and kick. What they deserved. Trusting fools. And let me know you want to see me play heroes. It always ends the same way. A knife in the back. I am close to this though, though. Like, I think I really I think in, in reality, I like somewhere I just opened the uh the, the place that lets you go underwater. So maybe like three chapters away. Even now, I struggle with fear and uncertainty. Mm. Day after day, I ask myself, what is right? Where do we go from here? The twins. How is it that I hate the male twin, but the female twin, I'm like, yo, you cool. You're, you're cool in my butt. 
You know what I'm saying? We can be good friends. That's it. Like, you, you call my book. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up. Your brother, though, fuck him. Like, he's annoying. Like, but you? Yeah, we can go on the battle together. I got your back. 100%. We good. Your brother, though? Man, if he drop, I ain't lifeline in his ass. You know what I'm saying? I play too much Apex, but yeah. Kick.com slash paper sin. Reminds me of like Wrath of the Lynch King, even though I never really played World of Warcraft. Again, before you start judging me, I tried playing World of Warcraft a few times. I just couldn't. I just I just couldn't. Like I, I just couldn't. You know, don't be mad, man. I just couldn't. It's not for everyone. Just like Final Fantasy XIV isn't, isn't for everyone. Like you can you can ask Zach about Zach Rar, Asmongold about that. It's not for everyone. Like when was the last time he played it? Exactly. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm farther than him. Like, fuck you. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Fuck you. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's go over the actual article now about the um. Yeah, this player spending 450 hours. Why, why 450 hours? Did he make it himself? But also five thousand dollars immortalizing his MMO character with a life-size bronze statue. Shout out to him for his dedication, you know what I'm saying? But damn, bro, that's a little, that's, ain't that a little much? No, it ain't, because as, as a weeb who accepts other weebs for who they are, I've seen some de degenerate shit. And this is far from degenerate, and but I've seen some, like, dedication. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. <clears throat> the, the article reads, oh, it's by uh, Dustin Bailey. Both links will be to, to the article as well as the video will be in the description below, so be sure to check them out if you need to, if you want to. It's all good. Or you can just stay here and watch with me. Anyway, uh, the article start, uh, starts, You might love your MMO character, but do you love them enough to learn bronze working and spend 450 hours recreating their likeness in a statue that could last centuries? You might love your wife. You might love your waifu. But do you have the dedication? Do you have the knowledge, the will to learn the knowledge and dedicate yourself? You don't, do you? Pathetic. Anyway, the article, the article continues. That's exactly what one Final Fantasy XIV player has done. The character you see above is the Warrior of Light, Yoko Akatsuki. Not to be confused with, like, you know what I'm saying? The, you see the back, you see the clouds on the back, on the, on the, you see the clouds on my jacket, on the back of my hoodie. On the back of my jacket, on the back of my jean jacket. You see that shit? Yeah. <clears throat> Akatsuki, Akatsuki, uh, uh, Akatsuki represent. But I promise I can talk. It's just, it's just my first time being human, you know. Um, it, but the article, article continues, and she's created by a Reddit user who get, who goes by. I can it. It, I, it cannot, it cannot, it, I can't. I can it. Like those are the words that I see, see from that. Like I can, and then it. Like. I can it. it. I can it. I can it. You cannot. They didn't capitalize your uh, your you know saying your first your, your name, bro. Anyway, thanks PC gamer. The statue has a hollow body to save on weight and material costs, but the 
parts you're actually seeing are all bronze. I cannot reckon. I can I can it I can it reckon. Yeah, I click that. That the volume of bronze is worth around $750. Though all the materials, instruments, and mold assistance, he learned the entire craft working to make this. Cost around five thousand dollars. It took me nearly 450 hours through uh, half a year to sculpt and cast. And now I present to you my Final Fantasy 14 characters, 150 centimeter bronze statue, Warrior of Light, Yoko Akatsuki. My man. All right, what's the capture say here? I was uh, targeting one on one scale as my men Minimum height, uh, Al Ra, uh, with gear. Al Ra is a, is a, uh, race in Final Fantasy 14, by the way. It's like a dragon, a dragon kin race. Um, with gear based on elemental armor and fending with ARR relic weapon shield. I probably haven't got that far. ARR. Can't remember anyone. Maybe, just, maybe I just haven't played in that long, but this makes me want to play again. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if my guild still has me in there. <laughs> uh, Yoko's statue stands at 150 centimeters, which translates to just under five feet in American numbers. Yes, this that is a life-size character, female Aura, who tend to be pretty short in game. The statue weighs in at 135 kilograms, according to I can it, I can it. I can it, 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 or 297 pounds of freedom unit. That's likely to be heavier, just a bit heavier than the character's in game weight. But hey, that elemental armor for offending set probably contributes quite a bit. I can it says, I can it, I can it, I can it says, I did learn specifically for this piece, but will continue to sculpt as a hobby for the rest of my life. Hey, shout out to him. Yo, he picked up a new, like this was, he had a drive to learn that, that skill, but playing Final Fantasy 14, playing his character and having a, just a, a, just a complete love for the game. Just a complete love for the game allowed him to push his limits and push past the maybe yes no you know saying all that bs that you may encounter that, that that may encounter you he pushed past it and said i'm gonna go ahead and learn this skill so that i can it <laughs> okay that i can do it <laughs> so that i can learn how to craft my character my final fantasy 14 character he did that shit, yo Shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's that's actually encouraging, bro. The dedication, the time, who does that? I love it. Ah, oh, anyway, uh, that's likely a bit heavier than characters in game. Wait, but hey, I'm gonna, okay. I can say, I did, okay, yep. Uh, the project began in what I can only describe as prophetic term, as prophetic terms. I gotta, you know, proud enunciate. First time being a human. As prophetic terms, Ikenet says, one day I woke up and thought about the statue of my character in my garden. You have a garden, my G? That's what, okay. Perfect place to put a statue of your character. This was beginning, the beginning of, of everything. Shout out to him, yo. I don't think I'm going to be picking up bronze working or putting down 5K to get a real life likeness of my own warrior of light. So he's not like, you know, just spending money for just cause he has it. He's not like a rich dude that just wants to spend money. He's not trying to spend like 5K again, but he actually, you know what I'm saying? Work for that shit, put that shit down. Said, I want to make this character, teach me how to make it and give me the materials to make it and donated 5K and the time to learning how to create that character or that bronze statue of, of his character. Shout out to it, yo. Uh, excuse me. 
I really like me some of my own white warrior of light. But I can help. But I can't help but admire. I can it's the, oh wait no this is the other person talking. But I can't help but admire. I can it can it's uh, dedication to the result of all that work. May Yoko's reign over the garden be a long one. Undisturbed by perching birds. No, no, no. Birds are definitely gonna shit on that. He's gonna have to clean that up a lot. But yeah, no. Uh, do your thing, homie. Shout out to Ikinet. I can it. I wish I knew what server he was on. You know, that way in case I log back in, I was like, hey, yo, Ikinet. Whatever. I can it. I saw what you did, homie. Proud of you. Proud of you. The weave in me sees the weave in you. You feel me? But anyway. Yeah, we we watched we watched the video. We we saw this. I tried to find a video about this specifically. You know this this I can it can it I can it guy person. I tried to find their video specifically talking about you know the the bronze statue, but I couldn't find a video on YouTube. So maybe I am actually the one, the second the first one on YouTube making this video about it. I don't know, or maybe you know whatever. Uh, if, but if you know this person, get them in touch with me. I want to talk to them. I want to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? My Instagram is in, is paper thin. The links, links to like my socials should be in the description below as well. I want to talk to them. I want to say, hey, yo, you know, I want to like interview them. I just want to get, I want to know, man. I just want to know. Like everything about it, like what drove you to it? What, make, what drove you to make this character? What drove you to make the bronze statue? You know what I'm saying? What's your next bronze statue gonna be? I got questions, bro. Like, like so if anybody knows this person and that I can like get in touch with them or they can get get in touch with me, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, this is where we end this video. I hope you guys liked it. Shout out to Ikinet, I can it, I can it, I can it, as well as his Warrior of Light, Yoko Akatsuki. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. And you know what it is after that? I don't know what else to tell you, bro. Like this was, this was great. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those weeb stories that kind of warms your heart. But at the same time, if you're like, you know what I'm saying? Some weebs might be like, hold on, man, what you do? Okay, that's borderline for me. But other weebs are gonna be like, yo, yo, but still, all weebs are still gonna respect it one way or another just like i do but um you know what it is after, after that so in case i don't see you good morning catching the wait 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 don't forget to do those three things i like to ask you to do and like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos yeah and you know what it is after that in case i don't see you good morning good afternoon good evening and good night peace and much love to you. Can it? Can it?